In this video, I'm going to install Linux Chaos in a desktop computer. And the desktop environment is KDE Plasma 6. So I already created a bootable USB drive with Etcher. And I'm going to boot up the desktop computer with the USB. I'll select the USB drive to boot up from. So I'm going to select Start Chaos Live. So this is the welcome page. So there's a guide, there's a forum documentation, there's main. So this is the correct passwords for use in the live session. This is about. So this is the package list and this is a list of the packages. I'm going to click on install chaos. This is the installer. So here you can choose the language. I'm going to leave it as English. I'll click next. This is location. So the time zone is correct. I'm going to click next. This is the keyboard layout. This is correct. I'm going to click next. So this is packages and you can choose to install or not install LibreOffice. I'm going to leave it on. So if you don't want to install an office suite, just select no office suite here. So this option says create a minimal plasma desktop install and you can remove all extra applications. You can also decide later to install the applications. I'm going to leave this off. I'll click next. So this is the audio selection. You have two options, pipe wire or pulse audio. I'm going to leave it on pipe wire. Click next. So this is partitions. Yeah, two options here, erase this or manual partitioning. So I'm going to use the entire disk. I'm going to erase this. Also, this is the storage device selection. There's a drop down tab. I only have one hard drive in the desktop computer. So there's a drop down tab here. And the first option is no swap. There's swap, no hibernates, swap with hibernate and swap to file. I'm going to leave it as default, no swap. So this is the file extension drop down tab. And there's some options here. I'm going to choose BTRFS. So if you want to encrypt the system, you can check this box. This is also the bootloader location. There's a drop down tab. And these are the options. I'm going to leave it as default, click next. So this is the bootloader choices here. There's Grub and there's no bootloader. I'm going to leave it as default, Grub. I'll click next. So here you have to enter a username and password. I'm going to type a username. I'll type a password. So there's an option here, reuse user password as root password. And you can just input a root password here. I'm going to type a root password. I'm going to leave these two check boxes unchecked. I'll click next. So this is a summary of the selections I made. And if I need to change anything, I could always click on back. I'll click install now. Okay, installation is complete. I'm going to restart. So I'm going to select the first option. At the enter. So on this page, this can help you personalize the most commonly used settings. Here's widget style, plasma team, window decoration, virtual desktops, and there's packages here. And I can install selected packages. There's wallpaper, docs, advanced. This is about, this is news. I'm going to close this. So this is the desktop. On the right side is the panel. So I'm going to move the panel to the bottom of the screen. I'll right click the panel. Click on enter edit mode. And this is the panel settings. I'm going to click on position. I'm going to select the bottom arrow. I can also move the panel to the left. Also on top. I can also increase the height of the panel. And there's alignment, there's width, there's visibility opacity and style. There's also floating. This can be turned on or off. So this is the application's launcher. This is favorites. 
This is all applications and they are listed alphabetically. This is development, this is education, this is games, this is graphics, this is internet, this is multimedia, this is office, this is settings, this is system, This is utilities. So I'm going to open the system monitor. So on the left side, this is tools. I can launch a console. There's launch info center, launch sweeper, kill a window. This is the overview. This is applications. This is history. This is processes. I can also configure the columns. And I can edit the page. I can add a row, can add a title. So this is the system management tool. And on top there's file, there's view, there's daemon, unit, there's session, settings. I can select any one and I can stop the unit. Here's user unit. Here's config files, sessions, and timers. So this is Octopi. This is the version. So there's file, view, search, there's tools. I click on options. So this is the KVantam manager. So this comes with many teams, but external teams can be installed for being used by it. So you can select a team folder. There's change and delete team. This is configure active team. This is an ISO image writer. I'm going to open the KDE Partition Manager. So here I can partition a drive. I'm going to open the ISO Writer. So I just have to select the image and also select the USB drive. I'll open the encryption tool and this will allow you to create your own key pair enabling you to encrypt your files and emails. So I'm going to open the data recovery utility. So this is the file formats. There's reset and restore. So on the panel, there's sticky note. And these are the settings.
this is the calculator. So this is the virtual desktop. Right now it just has two. This is the Dolphin file manager. I can create a new folder. I'll right click the new folder and I have all these menu options. I'll click on properties and I can assign permissions. This is a text editor kit. So this is the Falcon web browser. So the default search engine is DuckDuckGo. I'll type wiki. So on the right side, this is the Octopi Notifier. This is the clipboard contents. This is a networks icon. And this is status and notifications. There's power management. This is the time and date. So I'm going to update the system. I'm going to type sudo pacman. I'm going to install a package. I'm going to install GIMP. I'll type sudo. Pac-Man. I'll type Y for yes. So GIMP is installed. So this is Spectacle, it's a screenshot capture utility and you can take a screenshot of the screen, you can also record. So I'm going to open System Settings. I'll change the wallpaper. I'll select this wallpaper. These are some of the settings and they are listed by category, input and output, connected devices, internet, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, language and time, and system. I'm going to click on Windows Management. I'll select Virtual Desktop. So right now there's only two Virtual Desktops. I'm going to add three more. So on the Rows section, I'm going to make it one row. I'll click Apply and it's here. I'm going to select Desktop Effect and I'm going to scroll down to Windows Management and this is Cube. I'm going to select Cube and I'm going to enable the Cube feature. I'll click Apply. So to enable the Cube feature with the keyboard, I just have to hold the Windows key and the C key. And to escape out of this, I just have to hit the Escape key. So the KDE Plasma version is 6.0.5. The kernel version is 6.8. The graphics platform is Wayland by default. So on the login screen, I have the option of Wayland or X11. So I'm going to open system settings. I'll click on colors and teams. I'll click on login screen. And here I can choose a login screen. I'll choose Maya. So I'll click on behavior. And here I can choose to automatically log in and I can choose the user if there's more than one user. So on the session, I can choose X11 or Wayland. So it gives you a message here. 
auto login does not support unlocking your KDE wallet automatically. So it will ask you to unlock it every time you log in. And you can avoid this. You can change the wallet to have a blank password. You just have to click on wallet settings and this will open the wallet manager. And I just have to click on apply. So in this video, I installed Linux Chaos with the KDE Plasma 6 desktop environment in a desktop computer. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.